you will get your answer okay so let's start the part the first question is says that the cost of a notebook is twice the cost of a pen whatever is the cost of a notebook that is twice uh, twice the cost of pen write a linear equation into variable to represent the statement take the cost of a notebook to be x and that of a pen to be y okay so question has told us to take cost of notebook as uh, cost of one notebook as rupees x and cost of one pen one notebook one pen is rupees y so they are saying cost of a notebook cost of a notebook is x is means equal to twice means two times of the cost of the pen which is equal to y so x is equal to 2y shift it over there so x minus 2y equal to 0 this is your linear equation in two variables got it representing this statement okay next question let's go for the next question next question is this exercise 4.1 page number 68 on your ncrt question number two express the following linear equation in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 and indicate the values of a b and c in each case so we need to represent all these equations in this form ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So the first one let's say I have 2x plus 3y is equal to 9.35 on this 5 there is a bar that means it is 9.35555555 like that. So shift this part over there so you'll be getting 2x plus 3y minus of 9.35 bar equal to 0. So it is in the form of now ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So a is coefficient of x which is equal to 2. b is coefficient of y which is 3. c is minus of 9.35. As simple as that. Got it. Let's go for the second question. x minus y by 5 minus 10 equal to 0. So directly you can say a is equal to 2. b is equal to minus of 1 by 5 and c is equal to minus 10 remember coefficient is the number multiplied with the variable so here y you are dividing by 5 so what you have multiplied with 5 you can say y into minus 1 by 5 remember the negative sign also will be considered in the coefficient okay third question let's go for the third part third is minus 2x plus 3y equal to 6 shift 6 over there so minus 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 so we got a equal to minus 2 b equal to 3 c equal to minus 6 right so all the equations you need to compare it with this form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 that is the important part okay so let's go for the next question the fourth one fourth question what do we have fourth one Okay, the fourth one we have is x is equal to 3y. Shift 3y over there. So x minus 3y is equal to 0. So you can clearly say, see, this is the general form. Now coefficient of x is 1. Coefficient of y is minus 3. What is the constant term? But you can see constant term is not present. So whenever any term is not present, make it 0. So c is equal to 0. Got it? This is your answer for first, second, third and fourth. Let's go for the fifth one. 2x is equal to minus 5y. Shift minus 5y over there. So 2x plus 5y equal to 0. So we have got a equal to 2, b equal to 5. And since constant term is not present, c equal to 0. Right? So in the general form, we have to make it equal to 0. We have to make it equal to 0. Sixth one, we have... 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Now see, since it is 3x plus 2 equal to 0, y term is not present. So it is in the general form. Coefficient of x is 2. 
coefficient of y we see since y term is not present i can say its coefficient will be 0 you can understand this as 3x plus 0 into y plus 2 equal to 0 so coefficient of y is what 0 whatever term is not present that coefficient is going to be 0 and c is equal to 2 after that seventh one is y minus 2 equal to 0 so here see what i'm saying if i write in the linear equation in two variable form it will be 0 into x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 so a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 c is equal to minus 2 and the last one 5 is equal to 2x so you can shift this 2x over there 5 minus 2x equal to 0 or I can write it as minus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. So coefficient of x is minus 2. Coefficient of y, y term is not present. 0, constant term 5. Right? So these will be your answer, the values of a, b and c in each case. Right? So this is all in this, uh, in this video. So those who are willing to join the Vedantus Pro subscription course, the link is mentioned in the description box as well as it is in the pinned comment section. Coupon code beta to my liye raega GP Pro. Just go to that video. Ab dekho, one month ka price after applying coupon code is GP Pro lagane ke baad mein, one month price ye raega and this will be your three month price. Remember one more thing, <coughs> this price will include all the subjects. Maths, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, SST, English, all the subjects. Right? So you can clearly see the course if you will take for more number of months, the price per month will reduce. The price per month is going to reduce got it so if you divide 5500 uh, 1599 uh, so if you will divide it by suppose 3 so you can clearly see the price is way less than 2159 right so it is around 1900 1800 something 1800 something price will be there okay so understand this part so this is the part again one thing suppose if with this price if you are taking six classes every day because all the subjects are there so this will be your price per month Got it? So very good offer for all of you. I would like all of you, those who can afford this part, if you think you can afford this and you need some good guidance, all of you are more than welcome to join. The link is in the description box as well as the pinned comment in this uh, video's uh, comment section. The coupon code is GPPRO to get 20% off. Got it? This is all from my side in this class. I'll see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.